Good afternoon, Jets Nation. Welcome to the Juju Jet Show. And it's week 16, and I've somehow not made a video talking about Sauce Garner. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So ever since 2015, the New York Jets have had a very big need at the cornerback position. I mean, let's be real, we've needed a lot of positions ever since 2015, but one that was always at the top of our list at the off-seasons was cornerback. Every single mock offseason, I would find myself signing the New York Jets a new cornerback or something of that sort. And this offseason, Joe Douglas finally decided it was time to address that position. He signed DJ Reed to a $3 million deal, drafted Sauce Garner with the fourth overall pick, and he also drafted Michael Carter in one of the later rounds of last year's draft as well. Those three players have combined to make the New York Jets secondary one of the best in the NFL. And while Michael Carter is one of the best nickel cornerbacks in the NFL, while DJ Reed is one of the best cornerback number twos in the NFL, Sauce Garner might be one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL, and arguably might be the best. He's definitely top five, but there's a a good argument to be made whether or not he's top one. I mean, in the preseason, when Sauce Gardner did not get targeted a single time over three games, we knew this dude was going to be good this season. But I didn't know the success he had in the preseason would be pretty much the exact same success he's had as a rookie against Pro Bowl quarterbacks, Pro Bowl wide receivers, all pro level talent as a rookie. I mean, Sauce Gardner's really just been so fantastic for the New York Jets this season. And in fact, in the Jets' loss against the Detroit Lions yesterday, Sauce Gardner had 38 coverage snaps, which is tied for the fourth most coverage snaps by an outside cornerback without a target. That's right, Jared Goff did not target Sauce Gardner a single time in yesterday's loss, which is absolutely insane. I mean, they threw it quite a bit. They threw it 38 times. And Sauce Garner wasn't targeted a single time. Jared Goff didn't test one of his veteran wide receivers against a rookie cornerback. Because NFL teams know how good of a player Sauce Garner is. They know how hard it is to complete a pass against Sauce Garner. And clearly Jared Goff got the memo. Because other quarterbacks certainly haven't got that memo this season. And I mean, I've been talking all video about how good Sauce Garner is. And we're going to see his level of play earn him some awards by the end of the season. Because Sauce Gardner is without a doubt going to the Pro Bowl. He's without a doubt going to win Defensive Rookie of the Year. And there's a really, really strong chance that he's going to be an All-Pro as a rookie. And there hasn't been an All-Pro rookie cornerback since Ronnie Lott back in 1981. And he's the only All-Pro rookie cornerback ever. Or at least a first-team All-Pro rookie cornerback ever. I'm super glad the New York Jets drafted Sauce Garner over Kavion Thibodeau. And Sauce Garner is going to be the next Darrell Rivas for the Jets. But what Darrell Rivas was, Sauce Garner is going to be better than that. So what are you guys' thoughts on Sauce Gardner's rookie season? Comment them down below. And I'm your host, Stuart, signing off for now. See you guys later. Peace.